Hi everyone and welcome back to Colouring with Kate. Thank you for joining me today. So I had a lovely subscriber um, who left a comment a few weeks back and um, she was describing what she was colouring and I asked her about it and she told me about the books by uh, Dear Lennyhan. Um, so this is not a new book, it's been out for a while and I started having a look into uh, her book. So they are available from Amazon. Um, they are on Amazon printed paper, of course, um, but you can get artist editions from her Etsy shop um, and also PDF versions um, from her Etsy shop. So I link all that below. So I decided to get a um, PDF version of her of her bunny book which is lots of little rabbits um, miniature sized rabbits and it's just such cute pictures so I think she calls them buns and then um, I thought I'd get the um, the uh, um, Amazon printed version for from Amazon of course um, for this one which is the everyday magic so a beautiful soft cover <coughs> excuse me um, with a beautiful enchanting picture at the front um, and then it's of course uh, about A4 size so it says at the back welcome to the world of everyday magic a mystical look at the marvels of everyday life um, and then it tells you about dear Lennyhan okay so nice soft cover I'm going to see how much I can bring you in in a minute so thick cardboard cover and like I said it is Amazon printed paper um, and then there's uh, some information about her other books which are also available so the one that I got from Etsy which was a PDF book um, was the buns um, but like I say you can get the artist edition directly from Etsy as well so I might bring you in a little bit okay so you get two copies of every illustration so I think this is the owl and the cat I think so a beautiful childhood story well it is to me anyway that's what it reminds me of um, and there's the second copy um, I just love this moon at the back here and then all these different types of owls all sat discussing something and that's the second copy so yeah I thought I'd do a quick flip through um, I won't go on too much um, and then I really like this one as well so there's someone holding a torch and lights up all these beautiful flowers and there's a little caterpillar there as well so I think this was about seven pounds I think or eight pounds if I remember correctly um, some lovely birds so yeah, I like the fact that there are two copies of the each illustration, um, which gives you a second chance to um, maybe use different media. So of course, alcohol markers with a page in between is fine. Um, I would use I would use watercolor, but limited watercolor on Amazon printed paper. Um, so I would just. Um, maybe use watercolour for parts not a whole picture I really like this one teapot there's the blossoms in there and the blossoms have just come out at the right time of the season and there's a lovely stalk carrying a baby it's just it's just beautiful I really like this one I think I should right if I'm doing a picture I think I should do this one first if I get round to it um, this reminds me of Jack and the Beanstalk so there's little Jack there I think um, and yeah that that and then all the clouds here and yeah beautiful got some bats there as well on the fox so yeah I'm really um, grateful to to the subscriber who uh, introduced me to this artist dear Lenny and her work is really really nice that's sweet as well so you can see that they're all miniature size because look at the plants the plants and, and trees well actually the tree would be bigger anyway but the flowers there are huge
lighthouse scene. Um, that reminds me of, is it Van Gogh? Um, I've forgotten the name. But yeah, you know, with the blues and the yellows, you could just do that like that. I hope I've got the artist right. I wouldn't be surprised if I haven't, so do forgive me for that. Um, lots of lovely fruit there. And I really like this one as well. Um, what I really like about it is the books. I really like colouring books because I really like books. Um, and the actual names of the books are on there. So it's all very magical. So you've got Harry Potter, Practical Magic, A Trip to the Stars, Alice in Wonderland. Oh, it's just amazing. And I like the cat peering through there and the little, little girl reading a book there as well. So, yeah. It's just childhood magic um, nostalgic as well <coughs> I think these are the peacock feathers coming down here we've got a rabbit a couple of birds and butterflies which is really some more blossoms which is really um, appropriate for the time of the year right now pouring tea in there and it's quite a nice image I like the little mice you look at the squirrel here oh, I just don't like eyes like that they freak me out I know some other colourists say that I think I'd have to put the um, pupil in there. Oh, this is this is another one that I really like. You've got the eggs that have um, hatched, and you've got um, these little I don't know they are they little fairies, and then the birds are looking at each other as if um, are these ours? That's quite a nice. That makes me laugh that image it would be really nice to actually colour the nest in as well so yeah I think this is the image from the back so from the back of the book with these two elf like creatures elf like creatures or elves Oh, I, I like this one as well. You've got a little mouse there playing with matches. It says ghost light on it. Shouldn't be playing with matches, but there you go. And then um, some ghosts coming out of there. I mean, and look. And then you've got a bottle here with... It says spirits. The so spirits are leaving from out of there. Oh, I actually like that one quite a lot. I like pictures with a little bit of a story to them. I think it really sort of draws you in when you are colouring. I really like this one because I really like foxes. I think it's a fox. I certainly hope it is. I would probably colour it as a fox. I think these are just some roses. So yeah, I was quite surprised because I haven't ever come across this book myself. This is really nice. You've got a little frog there and, and then um, someone on his back there. This is quite nice. It's like alphabet soup. Nearly there now. And then these are the little buns. So you know the other book that I got um, a PDF copy of. Um, these the. There's another book which has basically centred around the, the little tiny bunnies um, and then a bigger bunny there. And that's quite nice, I really do like that one. This one upside down there, falling off. This is another one I really do like as well with the clock. I like colouring clocks. And then the owl there as well, it's quite enchanting. And 
and that's it um, and then this here it says um, just I think I think a description of what she means by everyday magic I think so so yeah and then that's it that's the book complete so I hope you enjoyed this short flip through until next time take care bye